today I'm gonna to walk you through installing a Cardo Packtalk Edge onto a Bell MX-9 dirt bike helmet. I have the Cardo installed already on my road helmet, which is an Arai Signet X. And so I purchased a second helmet install kit that will allow me to use the same main Cardo device and interchange them between the two helmets. I like the Cardo as an interface. Uh, it's, it uses Bluetooth, you can pair it to your music, to your Google Maps, or uh, inner, inner uh, face between multiple riders. And a lot of my friends who ride also have them already, so that kind of swayed me toward the, the Cardo unit. And the, the Packtalk Edge is one of the newer ones and has really good sound quality. So let's start by taking a look at the Bell MX-9 helmet, sort of the interior guts here. And one thing I like about this helmet in comparison to my Arai Signet is it's significantly easier to disassemble as I imagine most dirt bike helmets are. So the cheek pads pop out with three uh, plastic snaps as you can see here and just be sure when you pop them out to grab them as close to the snap as possible don't don't just pull on the outer edges or you might tear something but what it reveals underneath i was happy to see is a recess in the uh, foam that specifically looks like it's for speakers for a, an intercom system or a, a communication system and so I'm popping out the cheek pad on the other side and you'll see that there is also a matching recess uh, that is perfectly shaped for the, the speakers for the Cardo unit, which are also round. So here's the second helmet kit. I had to buy it. Make sure you, if you're doing a Cardo Pack Talk Edge, get the one specifically for the Edge because uh, some of the other Cardo models have different cradles. Uh, the main unit of the Cardo attaches into the cradle of the um, Cardo Pack Talk Edge with sort of a magnetic system, which I'll highlight later. But I'm just pulling out all the different pieces that come in the second helmet kit. That would include the clip or mounting system. So there's a clip-on style and an adhesive style. It includes some Velcro uh, pads uh, and Velcro spacers, which what I'm holding right there is actually a spacer. So if the speakers are a little too far away from your ears, you can just Velcro that onto the back of the speakers and it pushes them closer, closer in. Some adhesive uh, for microphone placement, Two different styles of microphones, this uh, floppy wire microphone, which is what I run on my Arai helmet. And then uh, this boom, they call it a boom microphone. It basically has a rigid wire um, or a wire that runs through a rigid tube and is more designed for an open face helmet. That's the cradle right there, uh, which is what the main unit um, goes into and connects onto. This is the adhesive mount that the cradle can clip onto. And it just kind of slides over and locks in place and makes a really solid clicking sound once, once it's locked in place. And you'll see that cradle has two different wire connections. One is for the speakers and one is for the microphone. Now this is the clip-on cradle connector, so it would actually clip over the edge of your helmet and then you would push again the cradle onto it and lock it into place. These are the JBL speakers. Uh, you, you won't be able to maybe tell so well from that image, but there's uh, one side has a short wire, one side has a long wire, and there's some adhesive backed uh, Velcro strips that Velcro right onto the speaker so you can install them into your helmet that way. And again, we got these great recess cutouts that are perfectly shaped around. There, there's where I would mock up my adhesive back piece of Velcro. And then the JBL speaker would just Velcro right onto that. 
and this is the the square strip is for the microphone placement and adhesive velcro strip for that and so we'll tuck it up somewhere in the chin area uh, at this point i was thinking i would use the soft wire microphone like i did in my awry helmet uh, but as it turns out playing around with it a little bit more there's not as much padding in this helmet. Uh, the Arai has a lot of padding, which allows you to tuck the wiring away. So on this helmet, because the dirt, dirt bike helmets kind of have more of a, a pronounced chin, the boom mic actually fits in there really well, and then you don't have to hide the wiring. So I ended up going with the boom mic, as you'll see later. So these are the two attachment devices. The clip, which some helmets, you can actually pull the lip liner off and slide that clip over and uh, put the liner back down. This helmet is too wide for that. And then that's the adhesive version. That's just uh, basically glues on the outside and then you slide the cradle on top of that and lock it into place. So now let's proceed forward with the speaker install. So the kit comes with some alcohol wipes to clean any residue or gunk off the surfaces so you get a nice good attachment with the glue uh, that's on the back of these adhesive velcro pads so i just wipe down the insides gotta let that alcohol uh, evaporate and dry for a minute and now we'll go ahead and peel off the backing on these velcro strips and i'm just gonna eyeball it again this isn't a precision thing and you can always move the, the actual speaker around on the velcro uh, but we'll try to get it generally in the middle there and we're just going to repeat that step on the other side peel and pop it into place not rocket science here not even fourth grade science really just real basic Now, I actually just reused this alcohol pad. It still had some alcohol uh, soaked into it, so I just rubbed down the outside where I'm gonna mount the cradle, let that dry for a minute. Might not be a bad idea to use some masking tape and get a little bit more precise than I did. I believe I missed the angle oh so slightly. I was trying to get it exactly kind of lined up with that angle of the bell lettering there. I got it close, but again, not, not precise. So I just peeled the backing off of there, lined it up by eye, which uh, again, probably not the preferred method if you are really concerned about precision, but um, works for me. It probably works for a lot of people. You don't want your surgeon to do that, but for gluing something on the outside of your helmet, I think it's okay. And yeah, the, the actual cradle itself is gonna slide onto that mount. So there's a couple plastic coverings on the outside. They're not protecting it adhesion or anything. I think they're just keeping all the plastic bits safe during packaging. Um, I had to grab some Swiss Army knife tweezers to get the side ones off. And there's one on each side and one in the middle. And um, I don't think it's crucial that you remove the side ones. It probably would work without them, but if you happen to remember, peel them off. And once that's off, the cradle will actually slide down and you'll see there's a little piece of plastic in the middle that kind of protrudes out. And the cradle has the, the reverse puzzle piece to that, a, a sort of female point that that will slide into. And you, you'll slide it down onto there and there will be a nice satisfying clicking noise get it all the way locked into place and then your cradle is mounted it is possible to undo it I believe you just need to get a little flat blade screwdriver and there's sort of a lock that plastic strip that you have to push back in order to slide it back off 
And then the Cardo, this is a clever little unit, the Cardo Pack Talk Edge. It just magnetically, I believe it's a magnet, attaches into there and then locks in place with a, with a plastic lock. And then to release it, you simply push down on the plastic piece that's at the front of the unit and you slide the whole thing forward and it comes right off. But it's super easy to, to put in. And for right now, I'm tucking these wires into a crevice in the uh, padding, and I think they'll likely just stay there. It's not, um, there's no, if you wanted to go crazy, you could probably cut into the fabric or something. But for me, I just, as long as they're tidy and sort of out of the way, not dangling and going to catch on anything, that's fine. So I ended up removing the back of the headliner also, um, which is a couple of snaps. In, in order to run the speaker wire and, and hide it out of the way. So again, the speakers, the short wire speaker is going to, or the speaker with the short wire is gonna be on the, the side of the, uh, the same side as the Cardo cradle because the, the wiring you know, won't reach all the way around from the far side. So the longer wire, the speaker with the longer wire will run from the opposite side. So for me on my helmet, I've got the Cardo on the left, mounted on the left side. So the short speaker with the short wire will be on the left side. The speaker with the long wire will be on my right side. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna, I pop, there's um, four snaps total actually that hold the headliner in. So you could just take the whole thing off. I left the two forward snaps on, pop the two back snaps off and I'm gonna, tuck the wiring down behind that back part of the headliner. And you could use some tape or something under there too uh, if you wanted to sort of keep it in place. I, did, I just kind of wedged it in and I think it's gonna hold up just fine and tucked it in there. But if it, if it bothers you, you can get it a little bit more precise than I did. I'm noticing a theme here, which is that I'm not very precise with this. And there I'm kind of mocking up the boom mic. You can see it looks like even from there you can see it, it's probably going to work pretty good. It's, as long as you can get the helmet on without it brushing up against your face, which uh, was not a problem despite my large dome and beard. Uh, so the boom mic was a way to go. I ended up cutting these Velcro strips and I'm going to lay them up in a, sort of a lengthwise position and that will give me some more flexibility with positioning the microphone. So again, you're gonna to wanna to wipe the hard foam padding down, where you're gonna put the Velcro. Let it dry for a moment. Maybe give it a quick pass with a clean uh, paper towel or something. Look again where you want your Velcro pieces. You're gonna want one at the at the back and one at the front. And actually there's two sets of those rectangular Velcro pads, so you got plenty of uh, options for where you wanna stick them. Okay. One Velcro strip installed. Two Velcro strips installed. And remember, the red snaps are your, your friends. You don't want to cover those with the Velcro. You'll, you'll need those to get the cheek pads back in. We're gonna see where the forward Velcro needs to go. It's gonna stick right on that little cover for the boom mic. will make this much more interesting in post-production. With K-1000 
care and concern, press the Velcro onto the hard density foam. Then, with good judgment and a clear mind, align the boom microphone with the Velcro strips you previously carefully placed on the hard density foam inside the helmet. If you don't get it right the first time, don't beat yourself up. This is pretty hard, and life is hard in general. Now don't forget, the little yellow arrow on the boom microphone needs to be facing toward your mouth in order for your voice to be picked up the best. Hey, there you go, buddy. You got it. Just like I said, no need to beat yourself up. You're doing just great. And now with the microphone in place, we can start plugging the wires in. You plug your microphone wire into the microphone wire coming out of the cradle. And you're gonna wanna tidy up that wire. So this is where I pop the back of the headliner of the helmet off again. And I think I just um, did the old sweep it under the carpet move and push the wire back in there. Because hey, no one else is gonna wear my helmet but me. No one else is going to look under my headliner but me. We all have skeletons in our closet, and we all have wires smashed under our headliners. Okay, we're getting really close here to saying Dunsies. It's time to slide these pads back into place. Easy peasy. How many times can I say easy peasy before the pads are actually installed? Yeah, the wires sticking out do, do add a little bit of bulk and the speakers do add a little bit of bulk to the cheek pads as well. Uh, you will notice, or I, I did notice when I put the helmet on for the first time with the new speakers installed for the Cardo, um, it did feel like almost like I added a maybe a, you know bumped up the cheek pad thickness by one size or something. I think they usually go in five mil increments, so it wasn't terrible or anything at all. It wasn't uncomfortable. It actually just felt a little sturdier, if anything. Uh, and I'm not running the little Velcro spacers. If I can do this, people, anyone can do this. And I mean, anyone. Okay, things are starting to come together and shape up. We got our wires tucked away fairly well. That little piece of wire that's coming around the base of the helmet is just, that's where it's gonna be. Uh, my angle there, not perfect, but pretty darn close me trying to twist it a little to get it lined, but it's it's glued, dummy. It's not gonna twist. I, I could definitely have pried it off, but um, yeah, let's not do that. Here we go. There's the pack talk unit. Complet. Magnetically goes on. Push down on the plastic, pull it forward, and it comes off. 
works great. I pumped some tunes through there and tested it out and I'm super thrilled. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to hear and see more painfully detailed and slow how-to videos.